What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to Mr. Alex Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create and restore project archive files within DaVinci Resolve. Now, project archive files are really, really cool because they allow you to pack up a project and all of the media files within into one file, which you could then move to an external hard drive for storage or put on a memory card so you can transfer it over to another machine so you can keep editing from there. Now, what's also really cool about this is it will work cross platform. So you can start a project on Windows, pack it all up, move it over to a Mac, restore, and then keep working from there. So without further ado, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and I've currently got the project manager open. This is the first screen that you see as soon as you open up DaVinci Resolve. And it's from here that we can export our project archive. Now, don't worry if you've already opened your project within DaVinci Resolve, all you need to do is click on the little house icon in the bottom right hand corner to open up your project manager. And then from here, you can export the archive. And then to do so, all you need to do is find the project that you want to export, simply right click and then come down to export project archive. A standard explorer window will appear like this. And then all you need to do is to find the location that you wish to export the archive to. Now this can be an internal drive, it can be a memory card or a memory stick or an external hard drive. I'm going to go with my external hard drive for this demonstration. So I'm going to open up this Samsung T5 and we're just going to export it to here. Give it a name, I'm going to leave the file name as it is and put it in a folder if you want to. I'm just going to leave it there for now. We're going to click save and then this little archive window will appear. Now this is quite important. There's three tick boxes. You've got the media files, the proxy media and the render cache. So you need to tick what you want to be included within the archive itself. So obviously by default, it's going to export the project, but do you also want to include the media files, i.e. any photos, videos, or music, which you've added to the project itself, the proxy media and the render cache. Now, generally my recommendation, turn off the render cache and just include the media files. The render cache can get really big, really quickly, and it can make this project archive way bigger than it really needs to be. So I just tick the media files tick box. Once you're happy, click on OK. And then it will begin copying the media files and the project to that location that you've specified. Give it a minute or two to complete that, and then you're ready to move over to the new system. Now that you've moved to your other device, it's really important to note that if you just restore the project while it's still contained on that memory stick or external hard drive, DaVinci Resolve will always look for the media files at that location. Now that's fine if you want to work off that external SSD. However, if you were to then unplug the device, the files would show as media offline within DaVinci Resolve. So generally what I tend to do is to make a copy of the project archive, move it onto the desktop or the internal drive of the PC or whatever you're editing on, and then restore it from there. Now I've moved over to my other device, which happens to be a Mac, and we want to restore the project archive. So I've got it on this Samsung drive here. So we're gonna open it up. You can see the DRA file here. If we was just double click that, you can see it's got the project and it's also got our media files. Now, as mentioned, it's really important that you set this to the location that you want it to remain forever if it's gonna stay on this PC or whatever you want to do. I don't want it running off my Samsung drive, so I'm just gonna click on the DRA file. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna move it just to my desktop because I'm gonna have it stored on there. Once that's done, we can restore the project archive. So I'm gonna open up DaVinci Resolve until I get to the project manager, as you can see here. We're gonna right click on an empty space. So not on the thumbnail itself, just anywhere in between. And then we're gonna to go to restore project archive. Then we just need to browse the location. So in my case is the desktop and we've got this splitty.dra. Now it's really important that you don't need to open that folder and then click on the project or anything like that. You're actually opening the .dra folder itself. So we're just going to give that a click and then we're going to click on open and then the project will be added to your project manager. So you can see here it says splitty2. If we then double click that to open it up, you can see we've got our project, we've got our timeline and all of the media has also been imported and relinked to that new location. So from here, you're good to go. And that's it. It's a really important thing to note, especially if you want to back up any projects or move them between devices. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, please do slap them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see a bit more as well as some other general tech videos and whatnot, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks ever so much for watching folks. You take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.